Card and Arena. Once again, our Twitter poll who will win tonight's event. Tweet your vote to BBC on Fox. 72% going with Manny Pacquiao. Keith Thurman, 28%. Tonight's odds provided by Fox Bet. Back to the ring, Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen, a very good evening to you and we welcome you to the fabulous MGM Grand Resort and Casino in Las Vegas, Nevada as Premier Boxing Champions presents the featured bout of the evening brought to you by Tecate, the official beer of boxing, Innovate Motors, O'Reilly Auto Parts, better parts, better prices every day, Twin Peaks, Eats, Drinks, Views, and Fashion Nova, the number one Google fashion brand in the world. This bout is sanctioned by the WBA, the president, Gilberto Jesus Mendoza. Introducing our judges at ringside, Tim Cheatham, Glenn Feldman, and Dave Moretti. All right, fans, here we go with a bout you've all been waiting for. 12 rounds of boxing for the WBA Welterweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen, in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from the MGM Grand in Las Vegas, it's time for the Fox Sports PB Introducing to you first on my right, fighting out of the red corner, wearing red, white, and blue trunks, fighting out of St. Peter's Boxing Club, and hailing from Clearwater, Florida. He weighed in at already 146 and one half pounds. He is undefeated in his campaign with a record of 29 wins, no losses, with 22 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight in his sixth world title appearance, Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the longest current reigning welterweight champion, the hard-hitting, acclaimed, and undefeated WBA welterweight champion of the world, introducing uh, Keith, one time Thurman. And his opponent across the ring in the blue corner, really needing no introduction the world over wearing white trunks with multi-color trim. As the distinguished boxing senator, he is fighting out of and proudly representing the Sarangani Brethrens in the Philippines. He weighed in the same as his opponent, 146 and one half pounds. Truly one of the renowned idols of boxing today. His record stands at 61 wins, seven losses, two draws, with 39 wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight, in his 28th world title appearance, here is the icon of the sport and future Hall of Famer. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome boxing's legendary and only eight division champion of the world, introducing the one and only Manny. And now introducing our referee in charge, now to give instructions, Kenny Bayless. Okay, Manny Keith. Trunks are good on both sides. Gentlemen, we went over the rules in the dressing room. Again, I will caution you to keep this fight clean at all times, protect yourself at all times, and what I say you must obey. Good luck. Touch him up. All right, here we go from MGM Grand Garden Arena. Sold out over 14,000 on hand. Manny Pacquiao at his 71st professional bout. Keith one-time Thurman unbeaten at 29 and 0. 22 wins coming via knockout. We are underway. Round one, scheduled for 12. Keith Thurman placed three bets on himself to knock out Manny Pacquiao in the first, second, or seventh round tonight. 
That's a that's a tall order. Uh, one thing about me when I was fighting, I never bet on myself. Although I was very confident in myself, but I never bet on myself. What do you expect early, Joe Goosen? Well, I, you know, you're seeing what you're getting right now. Manny Pacquiao came out and he threw a, a, a right hook and he, he missed it, you know, by a half a mile, but just landed a nice left straight left hand on Thurman. And Thurman started pressing, and there he goes. He's starting to cut loose. I think we're going to see a lot of back-and-forth action here with some good shots landed by both guys in these first few rounds. Because one of them wants to make a stand. They both want to make a stand and, 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 and to assert their dominance over the other. So well, let's see who gets away with what. That's a good right hand by Thurman right there. And, and I was expecting Thurman to come out a little bit moving, but he you know he's... he's um no, he's, he's going, standing his ground, right? Yeah, he's standing his ground. He's waiting to see what happens. And I thought he was going to be more aggressive in this, but he didn't. He's not coming out aggressive. He's just watching, trying to get used to Manny Pacquiao's uh, rhythm. Ooh. That was a nice right hand, but Pacquiao comes right back. Most of the trash talk came from Keith Thurman in the weeks leading up to this bout. Pacquiao said, I'm motivated the more he talks. I want to prove something to him. There's a nice combination by Furman. That was a nice uh, right-left uh, uh, right he threw. Uh, Furman did against Pacquiao, but you know Pacquiao, he's smart and he's been around and he knows he's going to try to get everything he gets touched with. He's going to try to get it back. Good right hand by Furman. He looks really confident by Furman. Yeah, Furman's coming out with the power punches early. Final minute, first round from Las Vegas. Look at the punches landed, 10 by Furman so far. Pacquiao at six. Ooh. Bit of a smile from Manny Pacquiao. Oh, that oh. goes Furman! And let me tell you, that was just a quick punch. And Manny Pacquiao moved in with his legs and his hands and caught Thurman backing up. Thurman thought he could back up quick enough, but he wasn't quick enough to get it out of the reach of that punch. Thurman knocked down late in round one. Back out through that left hand of the body and that right hook right over the top that he's used for years. Yeah, that was a flash knockdown. That was a wake-up shot for Thurman. Sure was. Boy, Pacquiao still has it at 40 years old. He's still fast, he's still quick, he's still powerful. And here's Manny Pacquiao coming through, moving quick with those legs, throwing a combination, punching, catching him on the way back with his hands down. All right, here we go. Look, there's Pacquiao. He's rushing in right there, boom. And there's the hook that dropped him, but preceded by a straight left hand to the belly. You know, the Pacquiao's used that tactics many, many times. Now, now Thurman wasn't probably terribly hurt. It was, a, like you said, a... Thurman landed 12 punches in round one. All were power punches. And then Pacquiao with the late knockdown of Keith Thurman. More chance of Manny from this sold-out crowd in Las Vegas. Thurman landed a nice little body shot along the ropes that Pacquiao shook his head saying no, it, it didn't hurt. It may not have hurt, but it was still a nice shot by Thurman. And then we saw that smile from Pacquiao just before the knockdown. Yeah, I got to tell you, when Pacquiao starts moving those legs very quickly straight at you, get out of the way. Yeah. Because that's it like that, right there. That's where he does it best. He catches you off guard with his quick feet and hands. Look, Pacquiao looks very quick right now. Can you imagine at 40 years old still bringing this type of game to a young, strong champion that's never been beaten? He will turn 41 in December. He told his trainer, Freddie Roach, I feel like I'm 22. Well, Thurman just turned southpaw for a second, and they both threw hooks, and Thurman's landed right there on Pacquiao. So this is a little switch right here, Thurman going southpaw. Switching back to right-handed again. Midway through, round two, scheduled for 12. Pacquiao.
Pacquiao with a knockdown of Thurman in round one. Another good right by Pacquiao. Those were blocked by Thurman. He closed the gap. He just put his hands together, and the straight punches were blocked. Well, you're going to see a lot of that by Pacquiao throwing the bunches. I mean, punches and bunches. Yeah, and uh, you know, from from the other side, if a judge is looking at that, he's going to think that Pacquiao is scoring points on that. That's true. But the, the good thing is, is that Thurman isn't getting hit with it, so he's not getting debilitized by uh, Pacquiao. So he, he's able to keep the pressure up. He's got to keep his hands up against Pacquiao. He, Pacquiao has a great move he makes. He hits him with that straight left hand of the body and then he goes upstairs really quick before he even pulls his hands off your body. He's throwing that hook. So it's always best to keep Pacquiao moving backwards. And this is what Thurman's trying to do right now. And that's what Thurman told us. He said, Manny's strength is punches and numbers. My strength is counter punching and counter punching and accuracy. Joe, from a trainer's standpoint, what message would you have given Furman after round two? Well, I, I think what he's doing right now, I think if you keep Manny backing up, you're better off than he than having Manny come forward on him. Because not only will he come straight at you, he'll eventually end up on the side of you. And you don't know where he's at, and he'll hit you from the side, and then he'll end up on another side of you. He's really magical on his feet, and he's done it to so many guys and beaten so many guys that way. But if you can keep him off balance and keep him going backwards, I think he's got a, a better chance than Manny coming forward on him. Also, you know, when Manny throws his combinations, I think that's a better time to catch him and throw punches because he's leaving himself open. Yeah, but he's so fast, and I don't disagree, but he's so fast that he's liable to sneak something in on you. I think you got to be really judicious about what you throw against Manny and when you throw him because he throws so many punches. Maybe the first two miss, but the third one's going to hit you. 61 career victories record of 61 7 and 2 a professional career that began in january of 1995 when keith thurman was six years old oh big right by pacquiao stunk thurman and that was just a jab it was a good stiff jab he's really stepping in hard on that front foot and that jab's following it and really did stun thurman for a second Nice combination by Pacquiao after Thurman had him up against the ropes. Well, Pacquiao's inviting him in. You yeah, know, he's really not trying to get away. Do it again. Thurman tried to sweep him right hand, and that really missed. Didn't touch Pacquiao, and Pacquiao decides to come off the ropes. Pacquiao's controlling. Remember I said there were, somebody's going to try to take dominance in this fight and it's Pacquiao right there. He's dominated everywhere. Final minute of round three. Kenny Albert, Lennox Lewis, Joe Goose, and Heidi Androll coming to you on pay-per-view from Las Vegas. There's two nice body shots from Thurman right there. He's just got to not do that occasionally. He's got to do it most of the round. Good combination by Pacquiao when he comes forward at you. Now to 30 seconds. Right jab by Pacquiao, and then Thurman comes back. Double the body shots by Thurman. Time winding down in round three, scheduled for 12. And that's what we have seen Lennox and Joe over the first three rounds. Well, now, look, I mean, he's surprising me right now. I, I can't believe he's 40 years old and still fighting like this. Let's check in with Heidi Andro. Heidi. Thank you very much, Kenny. Freddie, you said that Manny Pacquiao had the killer instinct back, and you loved that he was upset coming into this fight. What did you tell him going into this round, and what have you seen thus far? 
Uh, go after this guy, throw your, throw your combinations, you're too fast. I, I, I told Manny he's too fast, he's too quick for this guy. Go after him with your speed, he's doing great. Thanks so much, Freddie, guys, back to you. All right, thanks, Heidi. Freddie saying Manny is too fast for Keith Thurman. Beat him with your speed. Freddie's so confident he placed a $5,000 bet on Manny Pacquiao here in Vegas. Well, so far, Thurman's having his best round right now because he's back Manny up on the ropes and actually really started to let his hands go. And, uh, you know, he's winning this round, Thurman, right now. Even though Manny's never going to stop punching, I think Thurman's taking the action so far in this half of the fight or this round. Did you have Pacquiao winning the first three rounds, Lennox? Uh, yeah, I haven't been in the first two rounds, definitely. I think Thurman needs to really step up a little bit more and throw combinations and then not allow Manny Pacquiao to get back at him. That's right. And see, he let him off the ropes. He had him he had him frozen on the ropes here throwing combinations, and he stopped and allowed Manny to come off the ropes with the combination. Right. That's the, that's the mistake he's making at the moment. We continue to see Pacquiao using that speed, running at Keith Thurman and throwing punches. Let's check in with our unofficial scorer, Marcos Viegas. Marcos. Kenny, I got a 29-27 because of the knockdown in the first round. I thought last round I gave the nod to Keith Thurman because of the body work he did. This round is very, very tight. Both guys are landing very clean, so it's up for grabs at this point. Okay, thanks very much, Marcos. Oh, right by Pacquiao catches Thurman. Pacquiao again, the aggressor. See, what Pacquiao's doing right now is giving him different angles, giving Keith Thurman different angles, so when Keith Thurman thinks he's in front of him, he's not, and he has to readjust. That was a nice little left hand by Thurman right there, but Pacquiao threw two sets of combinations with seven, eight punches in each one, and he was buzzing around Thurman like a bee, and, uh, you know, he's just impossible to keep your eye on. He's everywhere. And then he mixes up his combinations, top to bottom, left to right. He's really, this is why he's such a great champion. But Thurman is still in this fight right now. And Thurman's loading up for that left hook, so Manny's be better be careful because Thurman's looking for that left hook. Spoke with Keith Thurman yesterday. He told us he breaks down his fights into three periods. Rounds one through four, he said, it's hard to dominate me early. Rounds five through eight, I assess my performance, see where I am, and then I try and win the fight in the championship rounds nine through 12. Heidi Androll is with Thurman's trainer, Dan Birmingham. That's right, Kenny. Dan, you know, we talked in the fighter meetings and he said the fifth round is where you guys start to make adjustments. What did you tell Keith Thurman coming into this fight? Just to be smart and not drop his hands inside and work his body, try to slow him down. What did he say to you? I saw him and whisper something to you. He said, yes, yes. All right, thanks so much, Dan. Guys? All right, thanks very much, Heidi. This is round five, scheduled for 12 from the MGM Grand in Las Vegas. Pacquiao had the advantage early over the first couple of rounds. Keith Good right hand. That's come on. Caught Pacquiao on the right. Well, Thurman's doing the right thing. He's pressing Pacquiao, not letting him get those quick feet off on him in the quick hands. And if you keep Pacquiao on the defense like he's doing, he landed a good right hand through him. And this is his round so far. I wouldn't back up a bit off of uh, Pacquiao if, if I were his coach, telling him to keep the pressure on him. His hands up. That was smart. Because you don't want to drop your hands around Pacquiao. We saw another strong right from Thurman, and then the comeback. The response by Pacquiao. And Thurman's nose is bleeding a little bit. That's going to affect his breathing a little bit down the line. Yeah, he's got his mouth open. That's never very good. You're right. There's Keith Thurman's wife, Priyana, attending her first boxing match. They met in Tokyo, married in Nepal. Rooting on her husband here in Las Vegas. Hey, Thurman walking straight in. He's got his hands up and elbows in, but man, he's still threading the needle, coming right up the middle. A little left hand right up with that. He did that twice to him. But Thurman's coming right back. Yeah, Thurman should come back, especially after Manny comes to his body. He's not really throwing any shots back. That's when he should swing around with that left hook. With 30 seconds left in this round. 
and I, I got it pretty even. Somebody's got to make a move here to really win this round, clearly. It was a nice little move by both guys. Boy, Thurman's face is really starting to show the effects of Manny Pacquiao's power punches. It sure is blood streaming down on both sides. Time winding down. Oh. Round five. Thurman just reacted very badly. Side with Kenny Lennox and Joe Goosen. All right, thanks very much, Chris. This is round six, scheduled for 12. Manny Pacquiao and Keith one time Thurman. Thurman unbeaten 29 and 0. Well, that's in big jeopardy right now because Manny Pacquiao's really taken charge in this fight. And look, at the end of that last round, Thurman was really unsteady walking back to his corner. His face is a bloody mess. They're having a hard time keeping that blood from flowing from his nose. You know, he's got to really step it up and do something drastic to, uh, to even this up. I don't know if he can do it, though. Manny looks so darn good. And who would have thought at 40 years old and... Just after all these fights, he'd still have this type of energy and, and vibrancy and power. It's amazing. Double of right jabs by Pacquiao. The rear boxing champions returns to Fox on August 3rd. Thanks for joining us tonight on both Fox and Pay Per View. Midway through, round six. Nice right, nice right. counter, uh huh? Zach exactly. Keith Thurman. There's Floyd Mayweather in the front row. He beat Pacquiao. Unanimous decision here back in May of 2015. And tonight Pacquiao matches Mayweather with his 15th fight Pretty here at the MGM Grand. Pretty I'll tell, I'll tell, oh, you, sorry, go ahead, I'll tell you what Mayweather's thinking right now. What? These guys can't beat you. I'm going to come back and beat you and show the world I can beat you and how it's done. Well, it goes to show you how great Mayweather was. He totally diffused everything that Pacquiao is doing here tonight in his fight. With him. It's pretty amazing to think about that. And as good as Thurman is, uh, you know, this just looks like it's a total domination by Pacquiao. Yeah, I mean, Thurman's not even stopping the job right now. He can't even see the job. He's too quick. Thurman knocked down by Pacquiao back in round one. Oh, left by Pacquiao, and then Thurman able to duck away. Twenty seconds remaining in round six. You know, Keith's nickname is one time, but I don't know if he's got one shot that could actually hurt Pacquiao. Well, the, the only shot that can hurt Pacquiao is if Pacquiao puts his hands down or keeps his hands down. Here tonight. This is round seven. Remember, Thurman bet on himself to knock out Pacquiao in the first, second, or seventh round. He probably is saying that. I don't think he bet on himself. No? No. Boxers don't usually do that. Well, we're at the halfway point right here, and I think it's so far been all Pacquiao. And, you know, Thurman came out hot and threw him some nice combinations, and then he, he, he takes his foot off the gas. I think he's got to give a good three-minute effort for the next, you know, six rounds here and try to win this half of the fight. Or else, ooh, oh, that's a nice right by counter. Thurman. You could tell Pacquiao wasn't happy with that. He realized he made a mistake and touched himself in the head. Yeah, Thurman slipped a, a left hand by Pacquiao and came back with a, with a nice sharp counter right hand. And then we saw another sharp right from Thurman. These are the things that Thurman has to do to be able to... For three minutes, yeah. Yeah, well, to cope with what Pacquiao's doing right now. He's got to develop something that works for him. Midway through round seven. 
A nice jab by Thurman, and then a lead left hand by Pacquiao, and, and now this exchange here. So they're trading punches. Oh, good right hand left hook by Thurman. And, and Pacquiao laughs. It's pretty amazing. As they were separated by the referee, Kenny Bayless, another smile from Manny Pacquiao. See, if Thurman does this, gets through his combination, then moves away, Manny Pacquiao's going to get a little desperate. Well, I don't know if he's going to get desperate because he's so far ahead right now. In my mind, I think he's far ahead. I think he's won the majority, if not all, the first six rounds. No, I'm saying he, his reaction when he gets hit, he doesn't like it. Oh, I see what you're saying. It's like, yeah. oh, I made a mistake. I can't make a mistake. You know, he gets upset with himself. He, well, he just got hit with another right hand left hook. I think Thurman is winning this round. Oh, good right uppercut by Manny. Oh, those punches are real. Oh, and a great right hand by Thurman. Time winding down here in round seven. I think Thurman did most of the work in this round. All right, Lennox. Let's take a look back at what we saw from it in round seven. Here, Keith Thurman steps back and throws an overhand right. Great right hand, great slip. And you can see how Manny reacted to that. We're gonna see it again. And here we go. Yeah, he's upset that he got hit. And you see Thurman scoring with a, a, a quick jab. And here's a quick right hand and a quick jab, and he's following it. These are the things he's gonna have to do. Um, <laughs> and to serve the people, to take care of the concerns of the country. So the budget on his mind, but a potential five more rounds to go here tonight in the ring before he heads back to the office. And once again, we check in with our unofficial scorer, Marcos Villegas. Yeah, Kenny, I got this fight tidying up a little bit. The last two rounds I gave to Keith Thurman, he's doing a good job of pushing Manny back, keeping him occupied, mixing off his offense both to the body and to the head. He has a good momentum right now, though, so let's see if he could uh, keep on building on it. One thing he can't do is, is he's leaning back a little bit too much with his hands down, and he might get caught with something from Manny. So Marcos has given the last two rounds on his scorecard to Keith Thurman. Look at punches landed. Very close. Yeah, yeah. Referee Kenny Bayless calling to watch their heads. Kenny Bayless, one of the great referees of all time in Las Vegas. He's been on the job for decades and has been in all the biggest fights. He knows what he's looking at, it, and he's staying out of this fight for the most part, which is what a great referee does. Paul Thurman to keep his punches up about 20 seconds ago. As we hit the midway point of round eight, Kenny Albert, Lennox Lewis, Joe Goosen ringside from MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. Right jab there by Thurman. Couple of nice right hands by Thurman. He's got to keep the pressure on. See, he needs this half of the fight. Good left hook by Thurman, as a matter of fact. But, you know, if I'm breaking this up into two two parts, I give the first... Oh, good count. Oh, both countering each other. I give the first half, the first half of this fight to Pacquiao, whether he lost a round or two here or there. He won the first half. Thurman has got to win this half of the fight. Well, we told you about Thurman's philosophy. Breaks it down into... Rounds one through four, five through eight, nine through twelve. Pacquiao's got such a great feel of what he needs to do in a fight. And he knew, and I'm sure he knew, and I, his corner knew he lost that last round. And I'm sure they egged him on, hey, don't lose another round like that again. Get back into this fight. And again, we see the blood coming out of the nose of Keith Thurman. Look at that left hand by Pacquiao and a counter right up cut by Thurman. He's, they're both so quick that it's hard to keep track of what they're doing. Yeah, Pacquiao, when he throws his punches, he doesn't stay there to admire his work. He's out of there. Yeah. He's showing you a different angle. Ooh, that was a little miss, but it... Yeah, that one he was looking for it twice, and he found it the second time a little bit, and the third time. 
Time winding down here in round eight. Oh, Thurman coming on good at the end here. This could steal the round for him. Um, just by that last flurry in the last 10 seconds. And Thurman's been throwing that right hand in a couple of rounds. It's like a sneaky, quick right hand. Anytime he sees Pacquiao making the move, he just throws it. It's a little lead right hand, yeah. And I, I want to give credit where credit's due. Uh, both corners uh, are working really well on sta staunching the flow of blood. You got uh, uh, Mike Rodriguez in Manny Pacquiao's corner and, and Carlos Vargas in Thurman's corner, who's really doing a good job. That's a tough nosebleed to stop, but they're doing a pretty good job of it the way it looked about four or five rounds ago. This is round nine, scheduled for 12. Manny Pacquiao, the only eighth division champion in boxing history. He's held 12 titles. Keith Thurman, the WBA super welterweight champion. Working to defend his belt for the fourth time. Nice right hand by Thurman. He shouldn't be giving up any ground. He should be pressing this fight right now and making Pacquiao back up. Yeah, I agree with you. Even if Pacquiao comes at him, he shouldn't back up. He should be slipping and blocking and being there, Pacquiao will be closer for the counter. But to take a step back, well, there was a nice little step back and a counter, but it fell short. Thurman said in the first first quarter, he said he looks at the fight in three quarters. So the first quarter went by, he would decide on what he would do for the next two quarters. What do you think he's going to do, Joe? Well, I, look, I think he should be doing what has been successful. It's been winning in rounds, and that's putting pressure on and taking it to Manny pinning him up against the ropes and throwing combinations. That's what's been winning in the rounds. Backing up has not been winning in the rounds. Thurman knocked down by Pacquiao late in round one. There one minute remaining in this ninth round. See, he took a chance right there, went in there, and threw a nice four or five punch combination and landed him. That's scoring points. That's winning. That's going to win the round for you on the judges' scorecards if you do that often enough. Good right hand by Thurman right there. There you go, good body shot. This is where he's doing his best work. This is when he's backing Pacquiao up. Nice combination by Thurman oh, and yeah. the right hook. He landed a right hand and a good hook. See? Now the response by Manny Pacquiao. See, Manny knows one thing. When he loses a set, a combination set, that he's got to get it back and even it up on the judges' scorecards. And that's what he's doing right now. Good right to the body by Keith Thurman and uppercut at the same time. I think Thurman... Most of their recent fights, Pacquiao in eight of his last nine, Thurman in five of his last six. This is round 10, scheduled for 12. Well, here we go. So, I, you know, uh, punch high for... Uh, for Thurman in that last round. He's got Pacquiao backing up. Look, I mean, it's bound to happen. I mean, maybe the age is ca catching up right now with Pacquiao these last couple of rounds, and Thurman's uh, youth is paying off for him because he, he looks the more fresh right now. You just can't ever underestimate Pacquiao. He can hurt you at any time. But Thurman was taking the play away from him the last couple of rounds, and he's got to keep doing it like that. He's the one landing punches right now. Yeah, he's got to get Pacquiao thinking about defense, not offense. That's right. Again, we check in with our unofficial scorer, Marcos Villegas. Kenny, Keith Thurman has been doing a, a very good job of scoring with this jab. We saw the last round he won that, and it's because I felt he worked the jab, was able to keep Manny at the distance and keep him occupied, keep him thinking so he can't launch his offense. Right now, I have it 86 to 84, Manny Pacquiao, but it's tightening up. All right, so Marcos has awarded Thurman three of the last four rounds. A look at the total jabs landed and thrown. Pacquiao 23%, Thurman at just 14 percent well you know I, I i don't disagree with those numbers because pacquiao wherever he goes he's always flicking out his right hand that always precedes and, and oh boy there's a headbutt either that or a punch but it may have been a headbutt i missed it all right
Now Kenny Bayless will step in between the fighters. But see, Thurman, Thurman kind of did himself a disservice. He let Pacquiao come in and take control of this round right from the beginning. He went backwards. There's another headbutt right there as Thurman threw that right uppercut to the belly of Pacquiao. But Pacquiao's got Thurman on the run right now, and he's got him hurt in a way that uh, he's, he's flinching a little bit. But here comes Thurman with a good left hook. And then a right. Follow up the left hook with a right hook to the face of Pacquiao. Thurman's putting his head down for some reason. I don't yeah. know if he's got a rib shot or he's got a pain or in his body or something. Yeah, that body language, that's what I was talking about earlier. He, there's something that's bothering him right now. Ten seconds. And Thurman's giving up ground. That's not good. Okay, there you go. But again, Pacquiao stepped back and got out of the way. If we can figure out what exactly what happened. Oh, baby. body language it, it, is it, showing it, it, me it, that was a body shot. Yeah, it, yeah, it, 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 from, it didn't look like a, a horrible headbutt. It looked more like a body shot, the way Thurman reacted to it. And we saw Thurman take out his mouthpiece, dropped it into his glove. Yeah, you usually don't do that and when you get a, a headbutt. Yeah, it's a body shot. Yeah. Okay, well, you heard Dan Birmingham tell him you got to get him on the rope. So what we've been saying and advising, Dan Birmingham has been saying and advising, but Thurman has not been following the instructions completely. Let's see if he can do it this round. He's, Dan Birmingham was very adamant that he had to get him on the ropes and really do some damage. So let's see. This is round 11, scheduled for 12 in Las Vegas on pay-per-view. Thurman has landed more punches than Pacquiao, but how about the effectiveness of those punches, Lance? Uh, well, I would say Pacquiao has more, two more effective punches. Pacquiao knocked down Thurman back in round one. Pacquiao's, two minutes remaining here in round 11. If you notice, Pacquiao's going with that left hand down to the rib cage. He's looking for that little uppercut right there. I think he knows he heard him there earlier uh, in that last round, and he's going back to it. Good left hook, right hand by Thurman. Good uppercut by Thurman. Yeah, but I, if we're talking about the punch stats, I think, without a doubt, Pacquiao's punches have been much more devastating and uh, debilitating. He's uh, drawn blood, he's doubled Thurman over. I think he's the harder puncher, no doubt. Yeah, the fact that Thurman got hurt in that last round, that's kind of slowed him down in this round. Oh, good, good right hand. hand by Thurman. Yeah, he stepped into it when he threw that right hand. Yes, he did. And now Pacquiao able to dance away. But he's got to capitalize on it. Now he's got to throw not only the right hand, but that left hook. Look at Pacquiao, though. He's, he's such a monster. He just comes right back. He takes whatever you give him. This is why he's one of the greatest. And Thurman's reacting to anything Pacquiao is throwing right now. So he, he's on the defensive mode, especially when Pacquiao throws punches. He's on a defensive mode. He's trying to get out of there when he should be looking for a way back. He should be looking to answer the call, throw a punch back. 30 seconds remaining in round 11. Oh, left by Pacquiao. Final seconds, round 11. You will see Thurman scoring with a great right hand straight through. This is when you throw a straight right hand. It goes straight to the target. And Pacquiao's face was right there. Now, the only eight division champ in boxing history. This is the 12th and final round. The reason Birmingham said to Thurman, let it all go, because he knows he's not winning the fight. Even though he's been in the fight, he's had great moments in the fight. 
He just happens to be up one of the great legendary fighters of all time, who at 40 years old can still deal with 30-year-old champions that have never been beaten before. That being said, Birmingham knows that Keith Thurman needs a knockout to win this fight. I agree with that. Manny Pacquiao turned pro in January of 95. Keith Thurman was six years old. Pacquiao won his first title in 1998 in the flyweight division at the age of 19. Here he is 21 years later. He will turn 41 in December. See, Pacquiao's doing the right thing right now. He knows it's the last round. Why take that chance? Right. He should just move around and, or definitely be protected and protect himself and not get hit with no silly yeah. punches. It's not like he won't fight this round because he is fighting this round, but he's not going to try to go for a knockout because he doesn't need one. Usually, usually, you know, in Keith Thurman's point of view, he's going to try to do it, but whether he's got enough gas in, in, in the, the tank to be able to do it. Oh, good luck there by Pacquiao. We hit the midway point of round 12. The only knockdown came back in round one. Pacquiao knocking down Thurman late in the round. That's where Thurman should have gone to work right there. He let Pacquiao right back off the ropes. Even if, even if Thurman wins this round, it's not going to win him the fight. He needs a knockout. Yeah, he does. Period. He's, he just absorbed too many too much punishment in the earlier rounds. Let so. it all go. Those are the instructions from his trainer, Dan Birmingham, prior to this 12th round. He has 50 seconds left. He's whipping that right hand, Thurman, but, you know. But he shook that right hand, so he must have heard it as well. The thing is, Pacquiao's been able to absorb anything that Thurman's thrown and come right back at, at Thurman just as strong every time. Now to 25 seconds remaining. Oh. Got him with the right. Got to come back with that left hook. Pacquiao threw a right hook at the same time he got hit by that right hand. This is early on. That, uh, that was the first knockdown. That was the left hand of the belly, the right cross to the chin, and Thurman went down. That was Manny. He was very fresh, very accurate, very powerful early on. You can see the effects of Manny's punches right there with the blood on Thurman's face. Here comes and Thurman. Yes, yes, Thurman throwing some good jabs, good right hands. That quick right hand was apparent through the whole fight. This is what you do against Southpaws. This is the last shot of Manny catching Thurman. Thurman reacts. The 192 power punches landed by Thurman, most by a Pacquiao opponent. In four Gentlemen, after 12 rounds of action, we go to the scorecards. We have a split decision. Here are the score totals. Judge at ringside, Glenn Feldman scores about 114 to 113 in favor of Keith Thurman. Judge at ringside, Dave Moretti scores about 115, 112 in favor of Manny Pacquiao. And judge at ringside, Tim Cheatham sees it 115 to 112 in favor of the winner. Boxing's pride to the Philippines, the ageless one.